got the we've got the police here. We'll be all right. Yeah, she just needed to Sometimes get. Sometimes the zoo closes that upper lot so you can't drive through. If you want to park down here, you're certainly free to walk. Yeah, I thought there was like a stairwell, kind of I saw, and but there's no way to park down there. Right. So I'm like, well, um, and then I'm like, and then this looks abandoned, and I didn't want to go park. Oh, well, so, here's the thing. If you're going to Urbex, you've got to have a reason to be there. You don't want the cops coming around going like, are you doing fentanyl? Are you doing drugs? No, I am doing adrenaline. I am doing adrenaline, and I will show you how very soon. Uh, because I'm I'm getting out of the way. You see, let's see, down there is the, the cop. But now, I don't want her to be suspicious where I'm parking because I told her I want to go to the stairway I do I'm, I'm going to go to the stairway because you, you can't lie I'm going to go to the stairway it's where I'm going to go after the stairway in the dark and you guys are going to see what I do to get these dang videos for you people oh, and because there is there's fence climbing involved in this video this can be my first run without my bestie oh no but I brought my butterfly energy um because i'm going into this really freaky place and i took notes on it because i i've been dying to get i shouldn't say that I, you never should say i'm dying to get into the crazy abandoned place but i have been what do you think g now uh, i'll let you know on the other side this is let me make sure yeah yeah this is it oh yeah, there it is. Yes, okay. This is what I saw the last time I was here in the day with a bunch of people. At the, there's a zoo. Ick, I wouldn't want to be part of the zoo. But I want to go, there's a fence. And this is not a nice thing to do with a, with a dog. You don't want to climb a fence with a dog. You, you, want, you want the dog down in the car, establishing the alibi for why her human is a nut. Oh, yeah, look at this fence, so. Okay. Oh, can I climb the fence? Ah, I'm gonna turn this off. Turn this off for a second, put it in my pocket. I totally cannot climb the fence. I say, uh, so I'm gonna go down and see if I can get in off like the stairwell or something. Or I'm gonna follow the fence. Maybe there'll be like a a hole in the fence or something? Oh. Yeah. In the rain, I could take a look. God. The things I do. Oh. This place is... can somebody, like, somewhere cut a hole that someone can crawl... Some little skinny chick can crawl through. Ah. Now, oh, okay, he found a spot. Ha! Oh, ow. Oh, well, I, this I actually, what about the dog? But I don't know what she would, she would necessarily, uh, oh, my head caught. Okay, I don't know what she would like, okay. Uh, uh, oh my God, okay, I made it, I'm on the other side. Oh, in the, in the, like, good guy now. Just to remember how to get back. Oh, no. Wire. Oh. oh. It's like some forest. The forest horror movie. Ow. Oh. Ow. Oh, God. Jeez. Ow. Oh. Ow. Oh, like the, like, there was that movie, The Forest. Oh, God. Forest for the trees. Okay. Here we go. Ah. Ah. Okay. Damn. Ah. Good. Ah. Ha. Ah. Ah. There it is, guys. Okay. Now, just gotta remember, this is where you go back. Oh, okay. I'm gonna leave myself a marker. Otherwise, I'll never, I'll never find my way back. There. Okay. Now, I'm going to the link. Sounds fun. 
Run for the building. Run for the Got my flashlight. Mm -hmm. I got my flashlight. I, I did this one. Good thing I didn't do it in the total dark because that would have been highly suspect. But yeah. Okay. So I wrote the history down because this place was so creepy weird. Um, so while we're going through it, I'll read you like the origins of this place. Because it's, um, it's got some weirdness to it. Um, it was first to the New York Asylum Society, started in Albany in 1851. Great work. <sighs> yeah, good. There's a long view. Um, and then it was designed for kids, 7 to 14, who were consider considered idiotic and def deficient mentally. So this is where you send them? Like, yeah, that'll improve you a lot, right? Okay, so on with the history of this place, because that, this was eventually like, torn down 1854 yeah it was adjacent to oh Ber bernie 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 park spelled b-u-r-n-e-y where i came from this dumb truck town in norcal perfect this place was next to 61 acres of like bernie park oh. and it expanded in 1888 was renamed the um, Syracuse State Institute for feeble-minded children. So we've gone from deficient to feeble-minded. Okay, that's the early history. The, the really interesting thing is the bizarre story of the, who bought this place of the, um, and laundered money through it in the 2000s. It's hysterical, I'll get into it. If I can get into these, one of these buildings. Oh my God, because I want to check it out. Oh. Then how the hell, like, did I get back? Okay, always like, that's the thing guys. If you're gonna go into these big places, make sure you remember how you got back. Got, got in so you can get back. Okay. Um, yeah. See if we can get in. I was probably looking down my lady left the dog in the car. Yeah. Okay, come here. Oh. A nice little campus. Um, yeah, it's locked up. Pretty good. We shall see. Okay, so the thing in the 2000s, this is hysterical. So the thing got abandoned, I want to say, I have to read my notes what year it was abandoned. Oh, like, ew, like the lonely play set. That's creepy. Ow. Like, I think it was like 2006. Anyway, the taxes had accrued to like 2.2 million dollars and that's when it gets weird with money launderers and weird people through Kazakhstan and um, SEC and all this freak stuff <laughs> yeah but what's just creepy is like look at this like yeah this is a don't you want to play here kids yeah let's let's bring our child uh Let's bring our child. Let's play here with the feeble minded children. Oh. No. Oh. That's sad. Yeah. I guess these were classes. They're all boarded up. This looks interesting. The, the roof's caved in. The question is can we get in? Oh, yeah, because. We should make it into a basement. Let's see what's down in the basement area. Uh, 
Uh, there is a stairwell. God, uh, where I am with my slippery nothing. Let's see that over here. Uh, huh. Is there nothing? No door? Do we have to go around yet again? To be exposed? Um, the dog. I don't leave the dog too long in the car. Let's see. Hmm. Ah. Alright. Alright. Let's see. Okay, so well, the story is, I think it was 2006. So the thing goes on, oh, here's some more basement. I get, I always get distracted with the basements, right? You get, uh, that's a hard no. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, let's see. Okay. Not even gonna bother with that. That's just another basement. Okay. Let's see if we go through on here. Uh huh. That's a little sad. Did somebody not leave the door open for us somewhere that we can get in and actually urban explore the thing? No. God, this thing is locked up tight. What are they hiding? Okay. Well, back to this weird story of the company that bought it. So, so the circus, there's like now, like, I guess it's 2006-ish. They're abandoning it. It's accruing taxes. And so it's like they put it up for, like, he used to do in California. It's a trustee, so you go outside the courthouse, whoever makes the largest bid wins, right? So they do it. And, and it seems, you know, all right. Uh, it sounds good. Syracuse, like, resort development buys it. Huh. Sounds all right. That's, it never really works out like that, though. So it turns out, like, Syracuse development is owned by a bunch of like people in Long Island so I guess someone in Syracuse got suspicious off of that pretty quick. Ooh, this is highly suspicious. Let's see if we can go down here. Okay. Yeah, suspicious things in Syracuse. If you've got Long Island investors that want to come up here, who, who on Long Island thinks this would be a great resort? Like, yeah, this is a place I want to do my resort development. Not. Um, okay. But now, I'm not using, where I entered is the zoo. It's really hard, but, and there's probably easier, softer ways, but then it won't be so much. If you go the easier, softer way, it's just not that much fun, I mean, you would miss out on like the the interesting tagging. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Get in place. Like this is this is kind of like I've been to a lot of abandoned places. Usually, this you get into the premises. There's 50 places to get in. This seems like ordered up really tight. Oh, and now I can buy off by the main road, all exposed. Great. Oh, there's a squirrel. You got it. Ah, oh yeah, well, that's the other thing. Um, in the mental world, they isolate the mentally ill, right? So stick it in the outskirts of Syracuse. Ah, well, at least they had a room with a view in the, uh, in the worst way, but it has a nice view. Maybe, maybe that's how they played on the, we're going to do this as a resort thing. I don't know. Okay. I want to do is get into this place. See what the hell is in here. 
Yeah, I mean, like, it's got a real estate sign at the bottom. Like, where, where do you take people in to, like, see anything? Here. Here. Here, you can look at the outside, but you, you can't go out inside. Isn't there some 80s song like that? You can look at the menu, but you can't eat or... Uh, oh. Uh, this... Uh, this is a menu you'd really want to eat off of anyway. Okay, let's just keep going around see if we can get in this wondrous place. And then the, the really... Aw, I like those faces. Good artwork. But aside from the artwork, like, oh, by the way, in the distance, that is the JMA Dome. There. Right there. It's a big deal. If you're a Loud House fan, I love the Loud House. Um, and apparently they put like Olympic set on it too. Not here. No one's going to places not to hold the Olympics. Here. <laughs> okay. Back into like, can we get in? Huh. Probably there. It's like right off the main drag. Ah. Mm -mm. Boy, what was that again? Huh. I don't want to be that exposed. After I went to all that trouble to go through the trees, you know. And, huh. I wonder if I could fit in through here. Let's see. This is the way in. Let's see. Aha! Uh I think I can squeeze in here. Let's see where it goes. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh yeah, this is freaky. Okay. Oh man, I gotta remember how to get out. Okay. Oh. God, this is where they put people, people minded children. This sucks. Ugh. Okay. Anyone in here? Oh, yeah, someone else could have squeezed in one of those doors. You know what I don't like about it? There's like no way to really run out really fast. Ew. There's like an old toilet, you know? I, I'm not, I, I'm not. Uh, I'm gonna be like a rabbit out the hole here and then see if I can find the bigger there's like a pool room or something. This is freaky. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Oh. yeah. That hurt. <laughs> oh. Knee on the gravel. Yeah, I'm gravel. Oh. Okay. Uh, uh, oh. My God. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, it should be like an open door, like somewhere else, where you're just like, oh, you could have just walked in. Yeah. Now I like. Ah. Oh. Okay. Let's see. Uh, there's like a big room with a, like a empty pool. It looks like perfect for skateboarding, to be honest with you. But that'd be too fun. Yeah, you got you got torch with the feeble-minded children over here. Oh man, oh, I bet like I I pulled something. Not not like pulled something. I like pulled a muscle. Oh dang. Oh. Is that finally, is that an open place? Is this it? Is this the easier, softer way I missed? Uh, let's see. Uh, no, none of it takes it into that. There's like that big pool room. It all misses that. All right, we're gonna see if we can, if there's any like little holes where we can get in to the, um, it's a big building. 
So I don't want to keep going around and just in circles. <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. Okay. Well, okay. If this is going to be the end of this video, let me finish by wrapping it up like this. Um, oh, wait. Oh, there's another. Wait, there were two holes. Maybe this one goes into the big part. Let's see. Ooh. Get in now. Dead end. Dead end. Ugh. Fold again. Fold again. Let's just take one more look. Let's see if anybody left the door open for us. Or I got something you've got. Oh, wait. Maybe. Yeah, here. Let's check. Good. No, you'd have to be like a parkour person, like incline that to like slip in. Okay, I gotta slip back to the freaky woods to get the dog. But, so let me finish the story, so, because it is kind of funny. So, the city down there, the city, who saw the thing, they, they were like protests. Somebody, somebody in Syracuse is smart enough to go, somebody in Long Island is doing something fishy. Um, so, they, they find out the, the company starts not paying its taxes to the tune of like, it's racked out like over like two, I think it's like over five million in taxes it didn't pay. And it's just, this is a constant thing. I've, 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 I have lived experience with freaks that just draw out the tax deadline to screw you. That's all they were doing, drawing out tax deadlines. So they, uh, they, they do it. They, they draw out this tax deadline and they, um, they can't, they don't come up with the money. And they, all the while, they're using this place as a holding company to launder money. And they, they track out the, so they go, they go bankrupt, the, the circus development, of course. And then they find out like they only own like 5% and the 95% share owner is in Luxembourg. Um, so, so after they, they find the, the, the dude in Luxembourg, which I'm pretty sure that's a non-extradite country, right? Oh, that's a resounding yes from Syracuse. Um, anyway, they find that this guy has been, um, He's working with something, someone in Kazakhstan to launder money. So it is insane and bizarre. That's how it winds up. That's the true story of how this crazy story wound up in, in Syracuse, New York. And I did get in for a tiny second. You got that little bit of a view. But yeah, it's, this is jail. J-A-L-E, jail. Jail or J I A J A I L doesn't matter. Jail is jail. Frankly, I think we're all doing we're all doing time, aren't we, on planet Earth? We're all serving our time together. <laughs> we're just in we're just in different cell blocks. <sighs> anyway, unless I find some miracle entrance, which I'll turn this video camera back on. That is it. First day, money laundering, abandoned buildings, climbing through fences, and hopefully finding my way back to the dog. <sighs> oh, let me. Oh, there's a big building. It's just so juicy. That's where that pool is. It's driving me nutty. Yeah. Hey. There just has to be a way. There is a way. It's whether you want to just go through all that muck 
when so like it says, suck John Moore. Ugh. Oh, I have a stepson named Suck John. Ugh. Yuck. He he does suck. Anybody that calls himself John and Samuel Berry takes $1.4 million to buy the house that you're living in with your child and then gives you an ethnic reason why he's selling out. Uh, and then my stepson, Jonathan Samuel Berry, once he takes all the money, the Falk money, changes his last name to human. You know, just because you change your last name to human, it doesn't make you one. <laughs> you know, if, if, you were, if you're such a good human, maybe you should come here and fix some places like this up. Ah. No, no. These, these people that will launder crap for money, they're quite interesting characters, I will tell you that. Uh, I've been around a few. Unfortunately, I know what an LLC is, a liability company. I've heard the word shell company, like, hmm, how many times? I should do it. I should do a cutaway to like my ex's federal deposition. Do you have any um, SOS corps, offshore corps, South American companies? Yeah. So I, I get it. Where people, people for money. They really do strange things, and when they got a lot of it, they hide it, and they go to intricate levels. Um, but yeah, I imagine, like, how they profile this? Well, just it, right? They, they look at this thing, and they're like, yeah. That's how they, that's how some, that's how some Kazakhstan businessman Form something got Long Island people. Oh, and the other thing is, I love this. Um, not, I love this. Uh, I love this. This place is cool. I don't love this. But they, they at some point, Syracuse tried to blame it on like a California or Jewish conspiracy. Come on, leave, leave the, leave, the, leave us people out of it, huh? Well, us people. I'm Californian. My son's Jewish. They don't don't blame the, everything on that. Um, but no. So it turns out they were wrong. The guy is like um, from Luxembourg, doing it for Kazakhstan, which has nothing to do with California or anything. To me. So they got that wrong. They got that something was wrong with the money. Um, but they've been good luck tracing a. A shell company, man. Let's see, 2007, I've been like on this for like, I mean like 16 years looking for holding these shell companies that have my own name on them. Good luck finding ones that don't. Ah, okay. For now, I am out. Actually decided, you know, there's a big car. The dog actually does deserve the stair walk. So that's what I asked the cop about. So I did walk the dog on the stairs. I just I just did a little bit of my own. I'm stray too, so I wander. <laughs> JG's a little stray also. But if you ever wonder what's over that fence, that's where I just came from. Now you know, it's the, I think it's like the, it was the Syracuse State Hospital. Right now we're just going on the stairway to, this is sort of like the cemetery venture. It's like stairways, stairways to nothingness. But, oh, uh, you know what, she, we should just, God, we should, I put should, do, the dog on these stairs. I, think I should put her up on the lawn part, be easy. But, okay, that's a, that is our big adventure for today, our tratitude. Travel with attitude, peoples. Travel with attitude. Get out a little level, yeah?